Hi. Today I'm quickly going to take you through how to use a mobile phone as an authentication device in order to access an SSL VPN. In this case, I'm using a Juniper SSL VPN, but it would work exactly the same whether it's a Cisco VPN or a Citrix Access Gateway or many other types of VPN or uh, web pages. In this case, I happen to be using BlackBerry, but again, it will work with any mobile phone. Um, so you'll see on the screen, we're just using the standard login page of the Juniper SSL VPN, but we've just customized slightly the right-hand side to give ourselves a couple of extra options. So in this case, I'm going to be doing the demo as a user called Bob Wills. He's going to be logging in in order to get access to his Microsoft Windows Terminal server in order to get access to all the applications in the same way as he does when he works within his office. Um, so the first step that Bob does, he obviously starts his web browser, types in the URL of his SSL VPN. He then types his username, so in the username field, he just types his standard username, the wills in this case, and then he clicks on the mobile phone icon. That pops up a little window where he simply enters his PIN number. This is something he remembers, one part of the two-factor authentication. The second part is going to be proving that he's got his mobile phone with him. So having entered the PIN number, an SMS has now been sent to him. You can close that window. You've heard the SMS just come through on his mobile phone. He simply opens the SMS and reads the passcode out of it, typing it in his password field here. It's simply an SMS, so it could be absolutely any mobile phone. Um, so he types in the password. In this case, it's 77883333. Types the sign-in button, at which point he's then taken through to the standard Juniper login page, where he can simply click on the terminal services link in order to take him through to his terminal server, which will start up and give him access to all the standard applications, just as he would if he was sat in his desktop at work. So this gives him the terminal server. He types in his Windows password. which takes him into the standard terminal server, his login, his standard page, where he can go to the start menu and start Microsoft Outlook, Visio, all his office applications, etc. So it's very simple and it's that easy to do two-factor authentication with the Juniper SSL VPN.